Hey y'all, welcome back to another live with your girl. So tonight um, we're doing 1960s teapot care. So I'm gonna be washing my teapot for basically the first time because it's been sitting for a while. Um, and I'm gonna be using castle soap and some other ingredients to do it. Um, and I think it's gonna take multiple washings. I do have some tools that I'm gonna try to use and I'm gonna show you guys the shape of the teapot, why it's difficult to wash. Hi y'all, hi sapling, hi. So today we're doing um, teapot washing. Pumpkin, what are you doing, baby? What are you doing, hi. Oh my gosh, she's been crazy. Okay, so today we're doing teapot washing and um, it's basically the first time I'm washing this teapot. Um, we're gonna be using castle soap and some other ingredients and hope that it does well. Thank you, twin. And yeah, I didn't even think I would be able to go live today, but yeah, here we are. I'm definitely able to go live today. Um, and then tonight's video is me putting together my little sister's birthday present because her birthday and Easter are like a day within a day of each other. So thank y'all, you like my hair, thank you. You wanna see pumpkin? Where's she at? Look at that boo boo. I'll pick her up. Come here. Yeah, I'll pick you up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, don't get your nails in my hair, girl. She's like, oh, I'm a little baby. Thank you, sapling. Here she is, the queen. <laughs> Hi, Buttercup. All right, I'm putting her down. Oh, please don't scratch my hair. Oh, my, oh, girl. oh my gosh. Her nails literally get stuck in my hair because it's curly. Oh my gosh. Okay, does anyone else with curly hair get like caught on things? Door handles, like objects, like just catching your hair. <laughs> It's annoying. Um, and for my hair, I can't go more than like three days without washing my hair. I know people can go up to like, hold on, I'm trying to see why the music stopped. I can, I know people can go up to like a week without washing their hair, but not me. So um, I have to do mine. Hi, bunny boo. Um, okay, so someone's saying for this teapot, using denture cleaner, let me turn this down, using denture cleaner and the bubble soak kind of denture cleaner can remove stains and discoloration from older dishware. It doesn't always work, but it's like 80% effective. Okay, I'm basically YOLOing tonight. I know this isn't gonna destroy the teapot because I'm only doing really the inside. Um, but I'm gonna be using this as the main cleaner. So this is Dr. Bronner's 18 in one, pure castle soap. Um, and to be honest, I feel like this is kind of a catch all. I'm only gonna be using like a couple drops. Um, I am not, cause I don't wanna do anything to ruin this teapot. Sorry, there's a lot. Hi Maddie. Um, I also have some baking soda and I have some Dawn spray but I feel like this is gentle and I feel like this shouldn't, um, this shouldn't ruin it. Um, Sapling says they wash their hair every one, two weeks. Yeah, must be nice. <laughs> like I, I, I feel like I should be the type of person where like I can go a week, but no, nope. And it's not that like, so up here will get greasy. Um, but like, the, it's like the curls, like they'll start, like there's like no curl, it's only like at the bottom or it'll be like catching to itself like that, which like, okay, I'm here for it. <laughs> but like going days like that, no, my hair does not, it doesn't hold up. Not without me getting it wet and like brushing it and redoing it. Hi, Marley. Oh, thank you, Slay. So Alka-Seltzer, someone's saying Alka-Seltzer tablets will clean anything right up. They're great for cups or water bottles. Okay, noted, Alka-Seltzer, okay. 
All right, so yeah, let's get into it. Um, all right, I have my drink. As always, it's um, Waterloo, sparkling water. And then, yeah, Sapling's saying I don't use a um, styling gel so the curls don't keep. Yeah, right. And especially when I did it this last time, I didn't like, like seriously like go at it. Um, I don't know, I've just been doing minimal stuff lately, like leave-in conditioner, oil, um, spray, and like milk at the top, and like uh, scalp oil. <laughs> minimal, that's minimal for me. Because I don't have any like of my own like rosemary spray and stuff like that. So anyways, let me turn this around. Let's get to cleaning with this. Okay, hold on. Someone says hydrogen peroxide, not the shelf bottle or 3%. But you can order Amazon and pharmacies usually have it. We got on counter. Okay, good to know. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So here's my sink. And for once, um, my sink is empty. Oh, well, the dishes are done. And um, I might need to plug this in. Let's see, let me play like one song at a time. Okay, so what I have over here is, and I'll put this down a little bit. So y'all can really see the sink. So this is the teapot, which I'm like, yes, I love it. Um, I got this at the, um, antique mall and this is what the so this is what the inside looks like you guys can kind of see like the dirt there's a film in there and then we have this as the like passageway to the spout so there's no like clear hole so it's the strainer so I feel like um, so I'm gonna go into here with a special cleaner well, your cleaning tool and I'm gonna try to gently clean this with my scrub mommy and also I'll show you guys the other tool I'm gonna be using. This tool which a lot of people probably have if you have boba straws or anything like that this is a good tool to like basically what we're gonna do is use it to go into the spout so, to clean it. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna be using any other tools. Don't need anything else. And I have a bunch of those too. I don't know how I have a bunch of those. Hi, Ruby. Hi, Leia. Hi, Kaylee. Gagne hair oil. How do y'all feel about them like trying to be relevant again? I don't know. I don't trust it. Um, yes, I have um, used coconut oil on my hair. It's kind of too much for me. And then I went into the shower and it basically didn't wash out. And I was like, um, and I don't know. It didn't really work for me. Like straight up coconut oil on my hair. I will move the lid so it doesn't fall. Because, <laughs> yes, I do not want it to fall. I'm going to have this running so that the water can get warm. Kind of takes a minute. Um, how's everybody's weather? It was so nice today. Y'all like my nails? Thank you. They're a little Easter Bunny themed. What are, um, what's everybody's plans for Easter if you celebrate Easter? And... How's everybody's weather? Because here in Las Vegas, the weather is beautiful and I did some gardening today and it was amazing. So, 
I want to know what's going on with y'all. Fackling uses stuff that natural hair girlies recommend. Nothing really from social media. Yeah. How much did I pay for the teapot? I think it was four. So this was like expensive, way more expensive than I thought. That I think this was like forty dollars or something. I think it'd be forty for this, or thirty-five or forty, which I was shocked because the thing is, I have another one. This it's like a purple um, uh, floral one, and that was twelve dollars at Goodwill. So I was like expecting kind of the same price range, and I was just shocked that this like wasn't it but at the same time uh this one they were able to tell me like the year because it was like in, they were able to at least tell me 1960s and then this is parik johnson bros england um and there's an r on it so i was like okay i feel like that's meant to be um and the other one is the other one says sadler england Okay. I just want to make sure there's like nothing on this. Oh, I see a wasp outside my window. Uh uh. I hope it doesn't make a nest. No, ma'am. I don't want to deal with that. Blech. I hate wasps. I love bees though. I have a bunch of bees in the backyard, but they're bringing like wasps too. And I'm like, no. Cause they're like belligerent. I almost got stung by one of them today. Okay, now I'm gonna put some of the capsule soap on here. Uh, over here, I have the charger on my phone. So I'm gonna put some on here. Basically it just like kind of comes out and like drops. This little tiny one I got at Target, you can get all the way up to like refill size um, for the soap. So satisfying. Oh my gosh, I'm about to give up on the hot water because this is too much. I can't, like I can't have it run that long and it's like not giving, I'm like, okay, whatever. I didn't want it hot, I wanted it like warm, okay. So I'm gonna put some water in here. Just a little bit. And I'm just gonna like preliminarily like scrub to see if anything will just like come off from the jump before I kind of like soak it a little bit. Ooh, I see dirt. Yep, I see it coming out a little bit. I'm trying to read the chat low key. Hi, Chris. Hi, Addy. get like a oh, my scrunchie. I almost want to get a I wish I had a toothbrush to be able to get like the the area like the ring you guys will see it okay you guys can't really see but the water is dirty colored it's pouring and hailing right now where you are where are you at Ew. so yeah it's dirty Ew. a tip when putting hot off the stove stew in a pot okay so a tip for putting hot tea in a pot run hot water in a teapot and let it sit for a bit dump water and add tea 
It helps to make sure it doesn't crack from the heat, right? Mm -hmm. Hi, Trissa. Okay, so this I'm just gonna pour out like this. I don't really want it to run through the spout. Okay, so now we like it got like that first kind of layer, but there's still that ring. And I'm gonna target that. So I'm gonna use some baking soda and try to get at that a little bit and let it sit. My drink. <laughs> Bunny Boo, you're funny. Where'd I get it? I got this at the antique mall. And it's English. Okay, so it's hair wash day for sapling and then their group. Partners are not group partnering. I can't stand that. And I feel like when I'm in a group project, I always have to carry everything and do all the work. And it's either that or I am the person that does nothing. But it's typically that no one else is doing anything. So I'm the person that does literally all the work. Or I go in and like edit it after the fact. Because I'm like, I'm not failing because of y'all. <laughs> That's how I was in uh, college. I was like, uh, -uh I'm not failing because of y'all. Okay. Now some water to this. I'm like this teapot is relatively clean. I've looked at it. Like I can see under the rim. Um, what's really dirty is that that like layer on the bottom, that one ring on the bottom. So I'm gonna put some baking soda in here. Baking soda just seems to like help with everything. I don't know. I feel like baking soda is just amazing. And then I'm just like kind of making sure this isn't gonna like ruin anything on it. I'm like rubbing it around the top rim. And now I'm gonna use this tool a little bit, just kind of like scrub. There's some dirt on the top where I'm trying to kind of scrub. I'm kind of, I'm trying to see if it will scrub off with a little bit of baking soda, but not really. And then I'm gonna put some baking soda right on this thing and put it in here. Like the chat real quick. Bye twin. Oh, the group leader was assigned? Uh-uh. The weather in Connecticut sucks. <laughs> okay, so Janice is saying hot water and baking soda overnight. Okay, I might do that tonight. What's up from New Hyde Park? And then... Hi from New Jersey. Um, so the, okay, so Chris is bringing up lead. Did I get a lead tester? They were reckless with lead back then. No, and I have not used this teapot yet because of that. Because where do I get a lead tester? <laughs> like, I'm just genuinely curious. Because a lot of people just say like, oh, be careful, be careful, I might have lead paint. And I'm like, well, what if it does? Like, what if it does? I feel like 
the vendor should have like disclosed like hey this might have blood paint i don't know oh okay janice has worked in antiques in estate sales companies for 15 plus years so all these tips help clean items to sell better without damaging them okay 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 Oh, you went today without any makeup gel and it felt nice. Yay. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so they're they're on Amazon? Okay. Are they legit though on Amazon? Like is it is it legit or is it like Amazon? You know? Look at Amazon quality or is it like legit? Sometimes the things on Amazon are like just straight up scam. Like the seller, like you gotta be careful who the seller is and all that. I wish it wasn't like this. I wish I could like kind of funnel it into this, but I'm just gonna kind of dump. Yes, it's definitely in there. Cause I feel like the spout will be the, is the dirtiest part or like the part that needs to be the cleanest. How do y'all feel about me using vinegar? Do you feel like that's too much? Cause I do have my all purpose cleaner that I made. It's easier to assume all of them have lead. Chris, yeah. Like, I get it with the group projects, and it's like, yeah, just let the people fail. But then they, like, you fail too. Some, some teachers, professors are like, okay, whatever, you guys all fail. And that's, that's what, that's the frustrating part for me. That was the frustrating part for me. In terms of, like, being in college and being like, oh, YOLO. Y'all either get it done or you don't. Like, I did my part. Like, the professors didn't care at my college. They're like, no, you want it done. Now I'm going to add a little bit of soap directly into here. And then, you guys can kind of see. Don't worry, I'm not going to drop it or anything, I promise. So these little holes here, I'm going to try to kind of clean them a bit with this tool because it does pretty much fit through. I've been wanting to clean this thing for so long. I don't know why I haven't. I remember I, I was like, I want to come on live and do it too. Because it's like relaxing. And like, yeah, I could do like an ASMR video, but like, we went to. The bottom ones seem to be harder to clean than the top ones. I think it's because it's hitting the wall, I guess. Okay. The water is dirty. Ooh. Okay, so that did clean the spout quite a bit from before. The thing with these is that they bend. You just got to bend them back. Y'all, you want to see something crazy? How I crack my um, hands, which I know I should. I know I shouldn't, but. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just got a huge burst of like, of like dizziness. Oh my gosh. Ooh, hold on y'all. I just got a huge burst of dizziness. Okay, <laughs> when that happens, I gotta just like stand back and like on the surface like, oh, okay, hold up. <laughs> mm. 
Okay. Ooh. I don't know what it is. Let me read the chat and just stand here for a second. Um, so I, I um, hold on, let me read the chat. <laughs> oh, hold on, I'm way, I'm way behind. Okay. <gasps> Yay, Jello looked through the makeup section at Walmart and nothing appealed. Used to be obsessed. Yay, that's awesome. Good for you. Yay. But Walmart makeup is awesome. <laughs> and then... Let's see. Someone says you used to go out... Oh, yeah. Jell is saying, yeah, you used to go out with a full face of makeup every day, ruin their skin, made them depend on it. Um. So, guys, so speaking of acne, you know how we always talk about skincare and stuff? I got sent a package by Vichy, which is a brand at um, Alta, I want to say. Is it Alta or Sephora? But it's one of those. And they sent me a package like out the blue. Which I was like, okay. <laughs> I kid you not. I kid you not. And I, it's like their acne line. So I was like, oh, and I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? Because I have tried their um, green little like acne thing. And that was like the only acne treatment I would, or whatever it is on my face. That's the only thing I put on my face. Because um, I'm scared. Because I don't want anything harsh on my face. Okay, so vinegar won't hurt unless you soak the outside for long periods of time. Okay, thank you. Right, going out barefaced, right? All I did was my eyebrows today, and it is liberating and empowering because you can just, you know, just be yourself. I'm okay, Chris. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Um, I'm trying to catch up on the chat. I'm okay, y'all. So you guys say it's a great brand, expensive. Okay, I want to know what Sapling thinks. <laughs> I want to know what the skincare queen thinks. Oh, thank you. Pumpkin says thank you. Going out bare face makes me feel like I'm good enough just the way I am. Like I don't have to cover or do anything, period. Oh, hi, Layla. Okay, I feel, well, but I, was I feel better, let's get into it. So now I'm gonna pour this out the spout. And the ring is still there, pretty much, but let's see what happens with some vinegar. I'm gonna drain out that. I feel like we're looking better. If you guys can see the spout, it was, the the holes were a little bit brown when we started. Hi, half halt. Hi, honey. Did you come to say hi? Did you, oh, hi, baby. <laughs> He's so sweet, I love my animals. Hi, Emma, yes. Okay, so Sapling, I wanted to know if you've heard of the brand Vichy and, and if you've like heard of their acne line and what do you, and if so, what do you think of their acne stuff? Because I'm really curious because I got a package from, the, from them out the blue with their whole acne line um, yesterday and I was like, oh, 
And I'm always scared to use stuff like like acne stuff, but that's the I remember getting like a travel size one at Sephora one time um, from that brand and I did use it up, but I don't I don't know. It didn't like irritate my skin, but I'm just curious what y'all think and what's happening thinks. Haven't heard of it. Are you sure? Hold on. Hold on. Because I'm sure if you see it sapling, you're going to be like, wait, no, I know what that is. Hold on. <laughs> Y'all know I'm random. I will literally just grab stuff. Okay, so this. But this doesn't really tell you much. This. If this rings a bell to people, they sent me their um, acne prone skin line. So, bye, kitty. <laughs> it looks high end, good brand. Okay. Yes, we try to be sweet and wholesome, Jello. Yes. Yeah, I'm excited to open it up. I'm gonna open it up and try some tomorrow. I also got a package from um from Elmis. I got a big package from Elmis today. That was like it's this like big like telephone stand. It's really pretty. I can't wait to open that. And I'm like I love these free like these like random like gifts that they're just sending. I was like, here's here's the line. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay, so a little bit of Dawn, but let me grab the vinegar mixture that I made first because I don't want to grab like the, I don't want to use the regular vinegar. I want to see what mine's going to do because it's been sitting in this closet. Okay, so y'all remember when I made this cleaner for Bougie on a Budget? It's been sitting in the closet ever since. And it's basically ready at this point to be transferred to a spray bottle. But I'm going to use some of this and see what happens. You like the cat? This is from Dollar Tree. I found this like way out of season because this was apparently from... Um, Halloween and there was only one of them and I was like what is this and why is this at Dollar Tree and people were like it's from Halloween and I was like oh hi Brayden okay so it's very so Janice is saying it's very common to have staining you just can't remove it and okay so basically she's saying that some stains can't be removed and if you've cleaned it, that's basically the best you can do. Okay, so M uses the their cleanser, uh, Vichy's cleanser morning and night. Okay. So it's the first time you're seeing it? That's crazy. Because I've seen it at the Ulta and I don't think it's giving pro. So I used it, it's like, it's very loose and... It wasn't giving proactive because I was a proactive girly, y'all. I forgot to tell you guys that too. I used to be on proactive because you guys are asking like how I would destroy my skin. Well, um, I would use Stridex, which was in like a, a tub. And they were these little pads that would make your skin like so dry. Pumpkin, come here, baby. Come here. Uh, hold on. She grabbed a little thing she wasn't supposed to. Okay. Um, they were these little pads that would make your skin extremely dry and it was supposed to clear acne and this isn't that. Um, all it did was make my skin peel and I still had acne. Well, um, then I tried Proactive when it came out and when it was like affordable because at first it was like through the roof, expensive. Um, and it did nothing. <laughs> it did nothing for me. Nothing. If anything, it made my skin... 50 times worse. I swear. Okay. 
So Chris is saying she agrees with Janice. Tea and coffee stains aren't going anywhere. Almost. So there's almost so much you can do before you strip the clear coat. Okay. How am I doing? I am doing good today. I had a, I mean, I had therapy. So usually after therapy, I do something like, I do things that are like, you know, nurturing and like for my soul and like things that make me happy. So I gardened, which I think I'm going to make it a weekly thing on Wednesdays. I'm just going to garden. And um, I talked to my mom for a long time. Um, and did laundry and dishes are done. Um, the house is clean. And yeah, I'm chilling. It's six o'clock. Chilling. It's such a beautiful uh, day. All right. Now I know that was overboard. I know. But I made a lot of this, so let's be real. When I put in this spray bottle, it's going to last forever. Now I'm gonna put some baking soda in there. Ooh. Y'all hear it? <laughs> this smells really good. I'm actually very proud of that vinegar mixture. Wow, the rosemary and lemon really brought down that like vinegar, like harsh smell. That's crazy. I love making my own cleaners. I feel like it works better and it saves me money because I'm, what I'm gonna buy is Everspring anyway. So it's like, I'm not really spending that much money anyway, but would rather make it myself. Okay, now I see something there. Do you guys see that little speck there? Not sure what that is, and I don't know if I'm going to get it out or get it off. Read the chat. Make sure nobody's saying that I'm, I'm um, ruining this. Oh, Chris says, my mom sounds like an angel. So glad you have her as a mom. What a blessing. Yeah, I feel the same way. I love her so much. <laughs> Janice says, using vintage and antique dishes. You know it's just clean and keep going. <laughs> yes, happy Wednesday. Mommy, you're not the only one. Because they said, don't, am I the only one that makes a mess on my clothes every time I eat or drink? Most of my clothes have stains and I need to get new ones. No, you're not the only one. I Literally, that's me. Like, literally. Especially when I'm doing, like skincare or like I'm making coffee and like coffee goes on my shirt and I'm like no that's why I don't wear white like ever oh thank you chief okay so I'm just cleaning this teapot it's what I'm doing <laughs> yeah, Janice says at least one bite ends up on their chest, which means a stain. Oh, but Dawn dish liquid, the blue kind, will take grease out, so no permanent stain. I'm about to screenshot that. Screenshot. Thank you, Janice. You're so helpful. Tea stains add character. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna go in with the scrub, mommy. One more time. Just kind of scrub around. And I think it's pretty much what you guys said. Like, I can only do what I can do. This is just the first cleaning for it. But I don't want to drink tea out of it if it's, like, dirty. And it's, like, decades of film. But it wasn't really in that, in that type of condition, which is why I paid. I think that's why I paid what I paid for it, but I don't know. Maybe they also need to make a profit. Because the one at Goodwill was $12, and there was nothing wrong with it, so I was like, why is this one expensive? Baby boy. Okay. 
crazy because it low key looks the same. That's crazy. It's low key giving I look the same. That's crazy. I'm gonna put some dawn on it though. You wanna see the cat? He's right here. Baby, come here. Come here. Do it. Fine. Come on up. Come on. Go. Come on, baby. You got it. <laughs> he says, I wanna be a part of what you're doing. What are you doing? <laughs> Let me plug in, replug in the charger. Sorry, y'all. Camera sounds. Okay, good. We're charging. Oh, hold up. Y'all can watch him do his thing. He clearly wants attention right now. You turn on this, the sound. And very happy Monday says from Wiki. In traditional Japanese aesthetics, wabi-sabi is a worldview centered on the acceptance of transience and imperfection. Teapot emoji, sparkle emoji. Thank you for your wisdom and your quotes. I know, he's chunky, I know. He's losing, he's been losing weight though. He was an outdoor cat, he survived, he lived off the land. We fed him, but... Um, he mainly was there for the mice in Maryland was where we were. Yeah, honey. He says I was there. I was. Brandon says, how have I been? Oh, you're fine. I've been, um, you know, still taking it day by day. I think overall I've been um, doing better, getting better. But, you know. I've been pretty much the same. Hi, baby. Look, he loves this. He's so cute. I love him. <laughs> oh, orange cats are rare. You think so? Like the tabby with like all the white. He's so hairy though. I brush him like every night and he's just like, he has a more and more hair to shed out. It's crazy. Yeah, he said, nope, I want to be front and center. He came in and was like, Mah! In the demon voice. <laughs> Half alt is the perfect name for him. Thanks. Yeah, it's a little movement in dressage, and my mom named one of them Piaf, one of them Half alt. So, and Piaf has passed away, um, to our knowledge, and that's why Half alt is so precious to us. So my mom let him live with me because he wasn't happy with her cat, her other cat, Hazel Gray's. Um, she did not get along with Half Halt that well. And so Half Halt didn't seem like as happy as he could be. So she asked if I would, if I would take him and see if he could get along with my two boys. And I was like, yeah, I love him. And he did. And he loves my boys and they just groom each other. And they're so cute. And Half Halt is just a ray of sunshine. And he just comes running in here screaming. And he's like, touch me right now. And I love him. Also, every morning he greets me too, which is why y'all see him in my morning vlogs and stuff. I didn't know this thing locked. This is just an outer thing. I'm just gonna do this once. Get into the spout as well. This is the apple. This is like, this gives fabuloso energy. I'm like, oh, it smells so good. I love apple scented anything. Like when Macintosh was like huge and we were all trying to smell like apples and like Bath and Body Works had apple scent and Macintosh from Yankee Candle meant that you were like elite. If, if your mom or, or somebody had that in their house, like y'all were like, y'all were elite. Perfectly imperfect. Very true. Yeah, he loves his mama. Thank you. I love these nails. I'm obsessed. He was like, do you want sparkle? And I was like, yes. 
I'm obsessed with these. And they cut them down so they're not as long. And I'm not going to lie. When they're really long, they are annoying. And it is hard to accomplish daily tasks. So when they're at this length, that's like the perfect length for me. Hi, just a random person. Thanks, Brayden. <laughs> Someone says, does he have one brain cell like the typical orange cat? So, um, hi, Cords. No, he, uh, well, he's, he's smart. See, the thing is, we always thought that Hat Hawk was not very smart and that of the of the sip like of the group because we had half halt tarot gandhi and piaf and they were all siblings and we had them all on the farm and basically over time um my mom had moved and to south carolina and had them all there except for tarot yeah tarot did not make it so tarot we don't know what happened to her um, sometimes boarders would forget to crack the door at night, like to the barn so that the cats could get back in. Um, and so Taro didn't make it to South Carolina. So we were devastated. We never saw her again. And then and we think a fox might've done something. Then they're in South Carolina and it was half hall, Piaf and Gandhi and Piaf and Gandhi ended up passing away because of, we don't even know something happened. And basically something happened and they didn't, they all did not come home for days and half halt was the only one that came home. And when he came home, he went inside the house and never came back out. So I don't, we don't even know what happened and we were, we were devastated. So half halt is precious to us. He's not an outside cat anymore. He's not a barn cat. He wants to be inside. He's happy to be inside and just lounge around. And he deserves it because he clearly survived something that his siblings didn't. And like, I can't. Like, we miss them. How's Cute Blue doing? She's doing good. She's actually like, like, eating things that I'm like, girl, like she's doing, she's having her weird cravings. She sent me a picture and was like, girl, dinner. It was like hot Cheetos and a Snickers bar. And I was like, <laughs> like, girl, she's like, this is what I want. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to drain it out and rinse it. And just kind of briefly scrub the, the top. It's not really that dirty. What's up? Oh. <laughs> um, how many weeks is she? Um, Piaf is named after a dressage movement. And same as half halt. So like to halt is to stop. So half halt is like kind of pulling back just a little bit so that the horse just, it's like almost a hesitation and step. And then um, for the, for the pee off, um, you would see it in like, uh, like Grand Prix tests, but it's where they're like, they're like, like if this is a horse, okay, my hand is a horse. They're like doing the thing and like the little dance. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, and if you don't, just look up, like, Dressage Olympics, and you'll see it on the test. Um, and, yeah, Cute Blue is trying to be, um, like, a successful YouTuber, and she just went semi-viral, so I was so happy for her. She had a video that, for her account, because she only has, like, um... I think like 200 subscribers. She got a video that was like 10,000 plus. Um, and I'm really happy for her. And she tries every single day. And she puts in so much effort. And I told her, you will reap what you sow. Like, you'll reap what you sow. I told her, just be consistent. And, you know, if you want to do this, like be consistent. Know what you want to, um, you know, put out there. And she also knows that, like, 
you know, it can't be all about like the baby, you know, because we're not in an era where we're putting children online like that anymore. You know, if that it's getting completely like canceled right now as it should. And so, like, she's just sharing, like, her, like, how she feels, what she's doing, you know, stuff like that. So, once the baby comes, I'm not sure, really, how much she's going to share or how little. But I know that it's going to be, like, I know, like, we're both aligned with the whole, like, like, there's this one account on TikTok. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And I, it's just it infuriates everybody. Um, and I don't think little children should have TikToks. TikTok accounts run by their parents. But anyways. Um, so Sapling, she's in between switching what she's doing. So with what she's doing right now, she like literally, literally just started low key, like within the last couple of months. And so she had a career before her um, pregnancy. And so now she just wants to kind of like vlog and do YouTube and stuff. And she's gonna have her baby um, and do all the things. She's getting married. <laughs> Chris says the pregnancy food comes are combos are wild. Don't judge her. Sapling says, I thought you didn't give advice for content creation. So typically, no. But, like, with us hanging out in person, that's where I'm like, oh, yeah, let me show you CapCut. Like, you know, let me show you this. Like, I'm much more inclined to, like, show people something in person or, like, I don't know. Or if it's, like, like I only have two girlfriends, you know? So it's, like, literally only her asking me any questions at all, so... Like, I answer her questions that she has, but some of them, you know, I can't answer. I'm like, I'm not sure. But, but no, I don't like do uh, coaching or anything like that. But like, I'll give her like my advice of like what I think. But at the end of the day, um, our niches are different. Oh, I see a bit of, I'm not, oh, let me see. Let me look up close. So this seems to be like the ceramic kind of came out a little bit. Okay. So that's not dirt. Okay, still trying to drain this out so it's like clear. Get the chat. Yes, I do. I do as well. I guess, yes, she is successful. Um, because she succeeded in what she wanted to do. I'm sorry you're going through some stuff. Quartz. Hurt people do hurt people. Mm -hmm. I hope things get better for you, Quartz. Okay, hold up, hold up. Someone says, I don't want this water running. Um, for me, if they have a child, post if the content isn't centered around the kid. Share with close friends if it's centered around the kid. Yeah, I, I, me, I'm like, like, if there's ever somehow a baby in my life, that child is not be like, I swear to you, no one's seeing that child. Because if I see even one screenshot, screen record, comment, anything, I'm like, I'm yanking the whole thing. I'm, I'm shutting everything down. Like, nope, I'm done. You, you know, and so to avoid that, I'm not, no, nah, 
for me, for me and my personality type, etc., I would never put my child on in the first place because I don't want to hear it from anyone. And, and God forbid they are screenshotted. Like, God help me. Okay, now I'm going to start to... So, I'm going to try to show you guys up close kind of what we're working with here. But it's still having some, like, spots that don't seem to be coming up. And then here's the spout. And then there's that spot there. And we still kind of have the ring going on. But for the most part, I did the best I could. So now I'm going to um, dry it off. Yes. Yeah, that's so true. Like the, yeah, like putting emoji, putting an emoji over their face or something or like, yeah. Right. Aw, of course, Quartz, yes. We all want you to feel better. Okay, so, <laughs> shut it down! Are you, wait, are you talking about, are you um, quoting Trap Caleb? Because if so, I love you for that. I love you forever for that, if that's what you're, if you're quoting him. And do y'all know who Trap Caleb is? He's the one where he's like, he's like, oogly boogly. <laughs> like, he's like, he has like all these TikTok um, sounds. And basically, he he streamed like a like almost like a handful of videos, and those videos just absolutely blew up on YouTube. And then like TikTok found them years later and like made them all into sounds, um, and it's really funny. So Janice is saying that's as clean as you will get without using. You know, like Alka Seltzer, um, etc. Okay. Ooh, should I get a magic eraser for this? Because I can absolutely, absolutely get one from Dollar Tree. Because what I want to do is decorate Harvey's stall for uh for summer, like spring summer, and so like I want it to be like beach themed, because <laughs> they love me decorated. So I want it to be beach themed, and um, I want to get like shells and like all this stuff and like decorate his stall so i'm definitely going to be hitting up dollar tree for that so i can get the magic eraser while i'm there thank you isn't it beautiful thank you Yeah, Brayden's saying like they he use like a code name for their for their children. Uh-huh. Exactly. So if the viewers just not your child. Exactly. Exactly. It, exactly. That's exactly how I feel. Like it's it's like centered on you, not the child, you know, you like censor that, like, you know, how it be the back of the head, like emoji over it, or whatever. And it's like centered around you. You know, it doesn't change to like, okay, now it's all about this like little child on the internet because people are just absolutely unhinged and we're seeing it right now and people are screenshotting and um, screen recording. It's absolutely unacceptable and it's happening on TikTok. Um, and I can't stand it. I can't, I can't. It, it makes me physically ill. I should make hibiscus tea. How much was this? This was about um, $40 max. I like, I think I spent 35, maybe 40 on it. Um, Yep, ocean. Yep. <laughs> yes. Okay. Don't use a Mac. Okay. So Janice is saying don't use a magic eraser on this because it's abrasive and it can remove the clear coat. Do you feel like it has a clear coat? I feel like it does on the inside because it's still like 
it still has that sheen, but I think there's a little bit of damage to it maybe. I definitely wanna get that lead duster and see what's going on with that and go from there. Yeah, Brayden, I know. Oh, okay. So the baking soda is the ingredient that makes the magic eraser work, but um, in a different way. Okay. Have I heard of iPad kids? Is that like just giving your kid an iPad and just being like, go play? Thank you, Patty. Uh, quartz, yeah. Yeah, it, it's like kind of shiny. Yeah, it's like shiny kind of. You know, on the inside a little bit. So, I'll put this on. I think it looks a lot cleaner. I don't know. I think it looks shinier than when I started. I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know. Maybe I'm, am I, am I tripping? I don't know. I think it looks cleaner. I think it does. Let me turn this around. Someone says, read the chat and then I will get off for the evening so I can post for y'all because it is almost 6.30 my time. Um, how's Pumpkin? She's doing good. She's eating her bone right now. Um, oh, it's parents who give their kids an iPad at one years old. How do they even know how to use it at one years old? What do they do? They're just going like this. They don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Oh, I should make strawberry shortcake cookies. Screenshotted. I want to make cookies. I know it's 930. I need to get off and post. Um... Y'all, I didn't get a phone until I was in high school. I was not an iPad ch child. Mind you, um, you know, 90s child, but 90s baby. But, like, I didn't have a phone until I was in, yeah, like, high school. Literally. Like, the end of eighth grade, going into high school, I got a phone. <laughs> like, um, and... Like I get, you know, there's a, it's a sign of the times, blah, blah, blah. But like, I didn't get a phone until I was going to high school. And like, before that, like I had a thing that I could, what was that thing that you could wear it around your neck and you could only call three people. You, there could only be like three numbers in there. Like one of which is the police or something like that. Like I had one of those at one point. Um, oh, she just put her bone into her bowl. It's like these bones with stuff in the middle and they're like, she like <laughs> bulldozes it around so loud. Oh, okay. So like around the age one, but like when they're in their crib. Okay. <laughs> it was locked on st and stuck on the same video. That's funny. All right. All right, y'all. So I am... Um, right? Someone says it looks like an elegant teapot, a whimsical and an enchanting fairy would give me tea. And yes, and she'd be like, ooh, yeet. I wanna go to another high tea at the Four Seasons or something. Someone posted that there was like a $39 high tea in Las Vegas and I was like, I don't want that. <laughs> yes, I'm being bougie, I don't want that. I don't want $39 high tea. I'll make it at home for that price. Like I want four seasons. If the four seasons is gonna be like 50, let me go to the four seasons. But anyways, I'm going to get off now and um, I love you guys so much. And there was definitely a lot of chat tonight and I loved it. I love how you guys talk to each other. Like we could all just talk about random stuff while I'm cleaning a teapot. <laughs> um, that was basically the point. So yeah, um, I'm gonna actually go sit outside now. I'm hot, which means that I need to do something about my thermostat because I'm sitting here sweating. Um, so I'm gonna go fix the thermostat because 
it was like 80 today and I think I have the heat on. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna sit outside cause it's beautiful and there it's still light out and I'm gonna post um, my video to you guys, which is me putting together my little sister's birthday present. So yeah, I love you guys. Everybody have a good night. Bye. Oh, and yes, Quartz, I hope you get, oh my gosh, I hope your lemon seeds germinate and you get a seedling. That's amazing. I have a lemon tree and it's making flowers. So I think it's making flowers. We'll see. But anyways, um, yeah, I will make, I definitely will post videos of tea time. I just want to make sure this thing doesn't have lead. And if so, like I need, I don't know what to do. <laughs> But anyways, we'll just go from there. I love you guys. Thanks to all the mods. I love you guys so much. And I'll be back on live. What was I saying? I think yesterday I was saying I would come on tomorrow. But I think tomorrow I'm going to post a long form for you guys. Instead, I think I'm going to do a Q&A. So look out for that um, in the next day or so. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.